TV culture stuff there. Looks like somebody's trapped in there. Or maybe not. <laughs> Yeah, it does. Stargate it really reminds me of the Stargate Atlantis. A little bit. Is that a licorice? A little licorice thing? <laughs> oh, the flower horn, yeah. Oh, it's a parasite, it looks like. Oh, he is a Cthulhu guy. Okay. He has telekinetic powers, looks like. Welcome to Baldur's Gate 3. I have not played very many D&D stuff. I think I've only ever played like one game of D&D and that's it. I played games similar to D&D. I think the closest video game I played, besides all sorts of things that I like to do, stuff from D&D, is uh, Dragon Sogma. Maybe? It has ideas like that. A lot of RPGs we played has a, a lot of D&D uh, uh, &D related things like Dark Souls. Like it has its own neat stuff. Uh, so in D&D... It doesn't seem like you have a lot of levels, so this is it's a little bit different than most of the RPGs we've played. This is gonna be a lot different from most of the RPGs I've played. I've got my character here, I started as a dwarf. So I've got the dwarven combat training. So I get to use uh proficiency with battle axes, hand axes, light hammers, and war hammers. Another neat thing they can do is see in the dark. And Dwarven Resilience, you have advantage on saving throws against poison and you have resistance to poison damage. That sounds like it would be useful. For the sub race, I chose, I chose Gold Dwarf. For the health, it will be very useful and Shield won't be as useful one. Same with this one. I think the health will be more useful for the class I've chosen. So my class here, I chose the fighter. Fighters have a master, uh, have mastered the art of combat, wielding weapons with unmatched skill and wearing armor like a second skin. And they have action second wind, two to eleven health. Draw on your stamina to heal yourself. That sounds like it would be really useful, a healing skill. And my fighting style is great weapon fighting. So whenever I roll a 1 or 2 on a damage die for an attack with a two-handed melee weapon, that die is re-rolled once. And so I think using the light hammers, war hammers, and hand axes and battle axes work well. If it's a two-handed weapon. And my background is urchin. So I've got slide hand and stealth. So slide hand is build nimble fingers. Still stuff. 
helps you pick locks and pockets and disarm traps. Which I'm sure disarming traps will be very useful. I think it's gonna be like a must have because the traps from a different game I've played um, called Hero Escape, Hero Quest. I've also played the other pat, but Hero Quest. And I remember I played a dwarf that had something similar to disarming traps. It was very useful. And stealth. I don't know how much I use a stealth. It's really mostly for the slide hand. This is my abilities. I focus a lot on strength, dex, and constitution. Because I'm more for my class. Uh, so real quick, I chose... Yeah. I chose the fighter for uh, multiple reasons. It's the proficiency, capability with light armor, medium armor, heavy armor, and the ability to use weapons instead of the barbarian. No. Oh, right. So the barbarian has some sort of rage effect to him, and which, is basically Diablo 4, which really reminds me of my buddy's character, uh, his barbarian with rage. So, I think the fire will be more interesting than a barbarian. Oh, I forgot to mention why I mentioned it. It sounds like Diablo 4's barbarian with the rage. So I'm guessing it has some sort of meter or bar or something that they fill up and then they use their skills and then it, some time based uh, bar. And the armor sounds really useful and the skill right here to be able to heal also sounds useful. Um, back to the stats. I don't have very much uh, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma. But I'm going to focus on that straight two-handed hits and hopefully pack a punch to whatever we're hitting. Um, so I chose athletics for the uh, stay fit, perform physical stunts. Helps you shove and resist being shoved. That sounds really useful so monsters won't be pushing me around. And acrobatics for the similar thing. Keep your bounce, land on your feet. Helps you resist being shoved. Hey, oh, we gotta name our character. <laughs> My character name is Berlo. You need a guardian. Choose one. So I've made my guardian. I chose a human, so that because humans have a good carry capacity, so she can carry my burdens. Um. So I think the Guardian is going to fill in these two slots. I don't know if we'll be able to name this character, but uh, you can't choose a class, so that is the character. Ready? Venturing now. This is Buddy, and we'll be playing Baldur's Gate together. My character is a custom half-elf, high half-elf, high half-elf. Uh, and these are the cantrips I've chosen. So I selected Firebolt with a sorcerer class with these four cantrips, Bone Chill, Acid Splash, Ray of Frost, and Friends. Being a sorcerer, I hope to charm the pants off of some people. My spells, Chromatic Orb, and Magic Missile. Now these are the two that they automatically selected, but going through all of the lists, I'm not brand new to D&D, &D, but fairly new to this. 
And I did play Baldur's Gate 2 on the old PS2, I think. But it was nothing like this. This is so much more like actual D&D. Uh, I haven't played a lot of D&D, just a few games. So I have just some basic knowledge of this type of uh, gameplay. And looking at the numbers, just for instance, if I look at this damage, it's 3 to 18. The two that they chose have the most variety in damage. I believe I have to rest for both of these spells to get them back. Um, that one does not say. This one? Hmm. I don't see on either one that I need to rest. So maybe that's only on the uh, other spellcasters. Okay, Wild Magic is what I chose. I was very tempted to take Draconic Bloodline, but I want to use uh, the Half-Elf's ability to wear armor. If you're wearing armor and you choose this and you go with the 13 armor class points you get from that, you can't be wearing armor, so I'd like to be able to wear armor. I do not know what either of these are going to do. I have no experience with this. Chose a charlatan because I'm going to focus on my charisma and thieving, possibly. At the very least, this should give me some help with picking locks and maybe disarming traps if we detect them. Don't have the highest uh, whatever the capability is. It's either Int or Wisdom probably to detect them in the first place, but and maybe you even need a skill to do that. I don't know. We'll find out as we go. Also, one of these things here. Maybe it was the race. Yes, I didn't go over this. Chosen the base. Uh, sorry, the half up has base speed. If I had gone with Wood Half-Elf, I could have gotten a bonus in speed, but I wanted, for the sub-race, uh, I want the cantrip, or magic. I don't really need to be fast, because I'm going to be standing back. This character, although I did choose to go with a really high constitution, um, I'm hoping to survive, <laughs> not be out in the front. I chose Half Elf instead of Straight Elf because I want to be able to wear armor right here, and you get Civil Militia. So, this gives me Light Armor and Shields proficiency. And I chose Half Elf over Human because I want to be able to see in the dark and also be resistant to the charms and sleeping. So, that's my premise. For choosing these things. Uh, I changed my stats based off of the basics a little bit, but they had 17 in charisma. From my understanding, you need to focus on even numbers, so I took a point out of charisma, even though that might affect me a little bit. I'm fairly certain none of your magic is damage-based unless you go with the Warlock. It adds charisma to your damage. So, the charisma that I have here at 16 will help me cast my spells, I believe, but casting the spell doesn't affect the damage. The damage is based off the spell. I believe that's how it works. So, um, I kept a little bit in these two stats because they might affect something I need to know, like for instance intelligence, memory, mental power, uh, wisdom, senses and intuition. They might affect me specifically being a mage type of class, but I chose 14 in dex because that affects your initiative, but also I want to try and pickpocket a little bit. And if I fail the pickpocketing, hopefully the charming <laughs> works. Let's see. I chose the constitution there. Again, I want to have the hit points, but hopefully I don't need them. Because if you're watching this, then you probably already saw my buddy's character creation, and 
He's gonna be up front, taking the hits, hopefully. Okay. You don't get to choose any sort of class or anything for the guardian. So, I think they're a paladin or something like that, maybe a cleric. I'm not sure if this is just a story-based character, or if we actually have, like, in order to fill the party with four people, we have to choose a uh, extra character right now. So we choose, both of us chose humans because of that, and just did some basic editing. I don't think we get to name this character. I don't know how long they'll be involved. We don't know anything about the game past this point, so... Here we go.